Welcome to Light River and our technology integration labs here in the San Francisco Bay Area. We are partnered with the industry's leading suppliers as well as network operators to make open optical a reality. Our unique approach allows us to make these complex networks work as well as manageable at scale. Join me as we go on a quick lab tour of our Alien Aware Networking Lab setup and hear about some of our key findings based on our inner out testing and findings that our service providers can use right now to be successful. Grant, take it away, bud. Here in Light Rivers Lab, we have hardware from all the leading vendors that we can test and validate alien wavelengths over pretty much any combination of vendors' hardware. As an engineer, it's a really fun environment to use this unique set of hardware to pioneer industry-leading testing. In front of me here, we have our transponder test bed with the next generation transponders, including Cisco's NCS1004, Sienna Wave Server 5, the Infinera G42, and Cisco's 8201 with 400 gig ZR Plus optics. We're using these transponders and other ones in our lab to test alien wavelengths over a variety of legacy fixed grid solutions and next gen flex grid solutions from vendors including Smart Optics, Sienna, Fujitsu, Nokia, and Infinera. Now to talk about the testing and methodology, here's Nick. Here at Light River, we write custom test plans for our customers based on their specific business needs and specific business applications. We have a unique advantage here at Light River in that we have access to all of the vendors documentation, which allows us to write the most comprehensive test plans in the industry. Each of these test plans have two components. The first is the hardware validation. We're not just testing interoperability, but we're also testing performance and that these systems adhere to our customers' SLAs with their customers. The second piece is the manageability. And with that, Travis will discuss how we manage these multi-vendor networks. Hey, thanks guys for the tea up. As you just heard from Nick, operationalization of open optical and network disag requires end-to-end -end visibility and control. And this required automation is where Netflix comes in. And if I zoom in here, you can see the same live network elements from our lab setup show up here as real-time inventory across multi-vendor and multi-technology that, that is discovered straight from the network. And beyond topology view, our logical view uh, provides similar information, a service layer representation for our shelf, card, port, tie, or connectivity information. And again, uh, real time from the network. And uh, you'll see here our circuit analysis tool where you know we capture real time performance, alarming, you name it, even a, a historical representation of the same. And, and all of this is leveraged across the end to end circuit of service path. And this uh, aids in tester trouble isolation, uh, as well as proactive network health to fix things before they break. Everything shown here is just a small subset of Netflix's network automation for alien aware networks and full life cycle automation. And additionally, as you can see here, all of these automations are available through our REST JSON API interfaces as seen through Swagger. And whether it's inventory or test automation, proactive notifications, activation, whatever, this shows up as standardized, make it all look the same API services construct that can be consumed by other systems. And this also becomes the enabler for network as a service and network and, uh, on demand, as well as custom app development. Now back to Grant for some additional lab findings. So far we've worked through a few customer specific test plans and everything has gone great. However, it's hardly plug and play. For example, with the fixed grid solution, the filters may be a limiting factor with some of the higher bandwidth modulation schemes of the next gen transponders. For the 1830 solution, you need to make sure that you provision your channel as unkeyed. From a network management perspective, we've achieved end-to-end -end visibility and control of multi-vendor networks. It's been a really challenging, but also rewarding process using Light River's in-house Alien Aware Lab to test and validate customer-specific multi-vendor networks. And with that said, Travis, let's wrap it up. In closing, open optical is real. Network disaggregation is real. Routed optical networking, leveraging 400 gig ZR plus optics are real and ready for prime time. As you just heard from the team, we've done the heavy lifting. We've done the lab validation and testing to show that this 400 gig ZR plus technology can work over legacy or existing line systems, as well as next-gen line systems. And for Light River, 
We're here to collaborate with you to design, build, automate, multi-vendor, multi-technology, alien aware networks, and do so at scale. That's it for now. If you have additional questions, just reach out to Light River. Okay, that's it.